When asked what our number one wish in life is, a lot of us may simply say to be happy. But most of us often finds ourselves in the pursuit of happiness. So I'll be happy when I lose weight. I'll be happy when I get a boyfriend. And so it just goes to say that if you don't have those things, you're going to be unhappy. And so I believe that happiness is based off of something more concrete. And that is how much more can we love ourselves each day? So to teach us how, we turn to author and motivational speaker, Sherry Elise. First up, Sherry says, dare to be imperfect. I mean, the amount of pressure that we put on ourselves to do everything right, it actually increases our levels of anxiety. So she says the more we can embrace the fact that we're all imperfect, this increases our levels of happiness. So how can we do that? We could do that by trying new things. Do things that you're actually not good at. So if you're not great at cooking, try cooking. If you know you're not great with singing, try singing. It's really about being able to see that no matter what you do, you're still okay. And this goes for the way we look as well. Our society often puts all of these standards of what perfection looks like. And so we're constantly competing against that. And I say, just dare to step inside your own skin and be proud of who you are. Next, Sherry says, sometimes things just stink. So embrace the ups and downs. There are so many things that we cannot control. Things like getting a flat tire, things like getting fired from your job, breaking your leg. Once we can let go of this attachment to how we think things should be, we actually end up surrendering and settling more into that. And that increases our levels of happiness. So when things get a little hectic, just saying, I will be okay, I am all right, will change the entire experience in and of itself. Finally, Sherry says it's time for us to cultivate our own self-worth. Stop waiting for others to make you feel good. We are living in this epidemic of not feeling good enough. And she says social media isn't helping. Things like how many likes can I get on my latest post? You know, are people approving of what I'm wearing or what I just said? And often what happens is that when you don't get it, then you're feeling badly about yourself. So she says, think of ways you can show up for yourself. Find the meaning in what it is that you're doing and the reason why you're doing it. And once we can stop seeking validation and approval from others and realize that we are enough with who we are, in who we are, then we let go of the suffering and again, we become happier. Creating happiness from within by learning how to love ourselves more is on the top of the list.